Hey you guys, it's Angela here. I just wanted to come on here and um, read to you something that the Lord spoke to me this morning uh, during prayer with Him. Um, I was asking God for a word. And He led me to Deuteronomy 11, 8 and 8 through 32. And um, this word brings so much. This is like a word for my brothers and sisters out there that are being obedient to the Lord and who are persevering no matter what obstacles, you know, that they're going through, no matter what negative comments that people are talking about them or saying to you, this is for you guys. You know, it's the blessings of obedience. And it just, this just, I was so excited when I read this because the way that I read this, the Lord revealed it to me in such a way of, of, of so much joy. And I really hope that you get the same. And so, here it is. Therefore, be careful to obey every command I'm giving you today, so you may have strength to go in and take over the land you are about to enter. If you obey, you will enjoy a long life in the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors and to you, their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. For the land you are about to enter and take over is not like the land of Egypt. Your seed and made irrigation ditches. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, for the land you are about to enter and take over is not like the land of Egypt from where you came, where you planted your seed and made irrigation ditches with your foot as in a vegetable garden. Rather, the land you will soon take over is a land of hills and valleys with plenty of rain. A land that the Lord your God cares for. He watches over it through each season of the year. If you carefully obey the commands I am giving you today, and if you love the Lord your God and serve Him with all your heart and soul, then he will send the rains in their proper seasons, the early and late rains, so you can bring in your harvest of grain, new wine, and olive oil. He will give you lush pasture land for your livestock, and you yourselves will have all you want to eat. But be careful. Don't let your heart be deceived so that you turn away from the Lord and serve and worship other gods. If you do, the Lord's anger will burn against you. He will shut up the heavens, I'm sorry, he will shut up the sky and hold back the rain, and the ground will fail to produce its harvest. Then you will quickly die in the good land the Lord is giving you. So commit yourselves wholeheartedly to these words of mine. Tie them to your hand and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Teach them to your children. Talk about them when you're at home and when you're on the road, when you're going to bed and when you wake up. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on the gate. So that as long as the sky remains above the earth, you and your children may flourish in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors. Be careful to obey all these commands I am giving you. Show love to the Lord your God by walking in his ways and holding tightly to him. Then the Lord will drive out all the nations ahead of you. Though they are much greater and stronger than you are, you will take over their land. 
Wherever you set foot, the land will be yours. Your frontiers will stretch from the wilderness in the south to Lebanon, in the north and from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you, for the Lord your God will cause the people to fear and dread you, as he promised, wherever you go in the whole land. Look, today I am giving you the choice between a blessing and a curse. You will be blessed if you obey the commands of the Lord your God that I am giving you today. But you will be cursed if you reject the commands of the Lord your God and turn away from him and worship gods you have not known before. When the Lord your God brings you into the land and helps you take possession of it, you must pronounce the blessing at Mount Jerusalem and the curse at Mount Ebal. These two mountains are west of the Jordan River in the land of the Canaanites, who live in the Jordan Valley near the town of Gigal, not far from the Oaks of Mora. For you are about to cross the Jordan River to take over the land the Lord your God is giving you. When you take that land and are living in it, you must be careful to obey all the decrees and regulations I am giving you today. Hmm. You guys, we're about to cross that Jordan River into that land of paradise. As long as we stay obedient to the Lord, and persevere through the trials, rejoice through the trials, and stay focused and have Him with us all day long. You know, not just on Sunday, not just at night, but all day. Just like this scripture says, commit yourselves whole heartedly to these words of mine. Tie them in your hands and wear them on your forehead as reminders. Teach them to your children. Talk about them whether you're at home, on the road, going to bed and waking up. That's all day long he wants to be with us. And we need to be obedient and stay obedient to him because he's coming. We need to bring in souls to his kingdom. You know... We have to be obedient to our Father. That is, if you want to enter that land of flowing with milk and honey, you do. Otherwise, you'll be in uh, horror, terror, hell, uh, being tortured. I don't want that. But reading this, is, is this for me is like a confirmation of what some other people, brothers and sisters in Christ, have said. Sister Pamela shared the other day of um, crossing the Jordan and then God revealing this to me is, is just amazing, amazing, amazing. And I'm just so excited and so full of peace and love and joy and all the wonderful fruits of the spirits that only the Father in heaven can bless us with. His blessings uh, are just so wonderful. And I really hope that this gives somebody, some brothers and sisters out there, some hope. Just persevere. Keep seeking God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, because your blessings are coming. He's coming. Right. I love you all. God bless you.